I received this letter from Carl and Linda in Winnipeg asking me how do I get rid of these pesky critters that crawl up the side of the house and into the dryer vent and on into the home. Some of those things just don't mix with drying of clothes, especially field mice and ants and earwigs and all those other little critters. Well, I'm going to show you how to get rid of them right now by removing the outside wall cap of the dryer. Well, as you can see, it's not too difficult to pull off the old cap because there's just a couple of staples holding it in place. But on the inside, you'll notice that there's a plastic flapper, which can be impeded with, oh, it could have uh, some lint holding on, keeping it a little ajar, allowing all those pesky critters to crawl up the wall and right on in into the dryer. And as you know, drying and critters just don't mix. But let's show you what we can do by installing, in place of the conventional dryer vent hood, an actual uh, unit that's going to redirect the air in an upward motion through an e elevated elbow into a canister. And the canister really now houses what's called the, uh, the vent uh, enclosure. Down inside the enclosure, there's a cap. That cap floats up and down. And when the machine is off, it drops into a closed position, stopping anything from crawling in and also that uh, very energy efficient air from getting out. So we want to keep that in to make the home much more energy efficient. Cap it off, makes it nice and trim looking on the outside of the home. So I'll show you this how easy it is to install. This is where it's going to go right here. As you can see, it's going to look quite nice up against the uh, beige wall. First of all, we want to caulk, take off any of the residual that uh, has been allowed to build up in behind the old uh, cap, take any of that away. And I'm using acrylic caulking here, much easier to work with and also it comes in colors that uh, will match most of the outside uh, finished colors of the home. This will seal it uh, against the air movement around the, uh, the old pipe as well as it will seal to the new uh, vent uh, cap. Have it nice and sealed, nice and tight inside. You can see it inside there that it's all in place. Move it up into location. And we'll put uh, four screws. You can see the caulking will even hold it in place there, just like another set of hands. Sealing it nice and tight up against the, uh, the cedar siding in this case. And you can see inside that the, the caulking is blossoming out, giving it a nice seal. Now to set the canister on top, see it nice and fits nice and snug. We'll put two screws in the canister. You see here the stop on my my drill. I have the stop set so I don't force the uh, the screw right on through the the plastic base. Here is the cap that's going to go down, seal off. That stops now. That's completely closed. When the dryer comes on, you'll notice it'll come up. And then cap it off like so. Nice trim piece. Well, let's take the cap of the vent enclosure off and take a look on the inside, see what happens when we turn the dryer on. Okay, turn the dryer on. Look at that. That's the cap now that goes down and stops any warm, moist air from coming out when the unit is off but also stops any of those critters from crawling inside. Okay, shut it off, drops down into place, seals off the, the pipe now coming from the inside out, put the cap back in place, makes it a nice uh, trim piece on the outside, and you can look at your local building supply store or hardware store for the vent enclosure. And I'm sure, Carl and Linda, this will take care of that problem in keeping the critters out.